What's up beauties? It's your girl Becca. Thanks for checking back to my channel. As you guys can see, I am blonde. Like, blonde. Well, not blonde blonde because I have some dark roots. Today I am teaming up with MC Hair to share with you guys how I put on this lace frontal wig using absolutely no glue. So this is a glueless method on how to apply your lace frontal wig and make it look really natural even when you have a blonde wig hair color. So beauties, before I share with you a little bit of the specs on the wig and how I apply this lace frontal wig and melt the lace like it's coming right from my scalp, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and press the like button if you guys like videos like this and want to see more. Go ahead and press the subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on the rest of my upcoming videos. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you can catch all my updates and let me know you're coming from my YouTube channel. So as you guys can see, this is a blonde wig. It is a 1B slash 27 color to be exact. It's kind of like kind of like an ombre with dark roots. It's a straight lace frontal wig that comes with a pre-plucked lace frontal and a 13 by 6 parting space. So the first tip that I want to stress is making sure that your hair is completely pushed back. So I'm going to go ahead and put mousse on the blonde wig. I'm going to comb it back. And I want to make sure that it's fully back so I'm even going to use my hot comb to make sure that it's pressed back. And once I put it on my head and I see that it fits, I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb it again because I think that it's really, really important to make sure that all of that hair is out of your face. And that honestly is the key, is the number one tip for making sure that your lace frontal melts into your skin and you're able to apply it the correct way. So I just also wanna show you guys how light the lace frontal is on this wig and how it literally melts right into my freaking skin. That is so helpful when you have a wig that actually works with you versus working against you. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my got to be glue and I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over the edge of my hairline. And then I'm gonna use my hands to go ahead and cause it to dry a little bit. As you can see, it's white and I want the gel to turn clear because then I know it's tacky. So once it's tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and take my lace frontal move it up a little bit and start attaching it to the gel from the center of my head. I wanna start from the center, then move down to the sides cause that just makes it so much easier when you don't try to put on the whole thing at once, but you're able to focus on one central part and it makes it less messy as well. If you have any issues like I was with some of the glue drying really fast, just apply a little bit more glue, wait for it to get tacky and then press it down. Once you're done with that, you can do just like I did and put a bandana on just to press it down into the gel and make sure that it stays firm. I literally keep the bandana on for like a minute. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and make my baby hairs, just pull out a few in the front. Um, this is pretty much the same place that I like to put most of my baby hairs. Everybody's different where they like to place their baby hairs, but I like to stay with like the temples of my head and then a little bit of a sideburn. And then from there, I'll just go ahead and cut my baby hairs. And then use a little bit of mousse to hold them down. But some people like to use got to be glue, but I like to use mousse because, because it's easier to take off when I'm done. Now, 
to laying the lace frontal, making sure that it lays down flat and making sure that it looks like it's coming from my scalp. I'm gonna go ahead and set my part where I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the side part because that's just kind of how I was feeling today. I like to use the got to be glue free spray along my edges because it helps with a little bit more security and makes it feel more attached. So you don't have to, but that just helps me. Girl, when I tell you this flat iron is about to be your best friend when it comes to laying your lace frontal, the flat iron allows you to really kind of lay down those bumps and whatever high parts you have on your wig. I like to take that and I like to take my mousse to work together and really, really press it down. If you don't have a hot comb, you can use a flat iron and just flat iron like different rows. But I like the hot comb because the hot comb goes right through. I'm able to use my mousse to flatten it down and it really helps like straighten it out and get it down the way I need it to. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, because my part is not as prominent as I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer in my part and that will help my part open up a little bit more and look more realistic. And then literally there you go. That is how you apply your lace frontal wig. That's how you make your blonde wig look more natural. And that's how you slay a blonde lace frontal wig. So as you guys can see, I switched it up just a little bit and I decided to do a middle part. It's pretty much the same thing as the side part. I just had to separate it in the middle, use my use my hot comb to go ahead and flatten it out. I added a baby hair just cause that's just what I wanted to do and that's how I was feeling today. Um, but I went ahead and I used my hot comb to go ahead and press it out, make it flat and use my mousse. I used concealer in my part again. And that's literally the final verdict, beauties. So that's it, beauties. That is this blonde lace frontal wig that I was able to apply on my head. As you guys can see, like, you literally cannot tell where the lace frontal is. Like, what lace? It's literally melted into my scalp and looks so natural. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and laying your lace frontal wig. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to put it down in the comment box below. All details on this wig are in the description box down below. If you guys like the video, be sure to give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of my upcoming videos. Bye beauties, until next time. Hey, feeling good, like I should. Winning the blue